Good morning guys. Welcome to another episode of Southdown Garage. This time we're working on the tow rig. Why? Because it left a lovely present at my friend's house and my neighbor's driveway and my driveway and a whole trail leading down to where my park my truck is parked <laughs> stay tuned six times a year these giants battle each other for top placement in japan's most beloved traditional sport sumo <laughs> So to show you exactly what I mean, that's that's what I mean right there. So let's make a walk over to the truck here. Make an open ye hood latch. Come on. Come on, Lee. Come on. Alright. Look how much oil is there. Can you see that? I did a killer dowel pin a while ago because mine fell out. Since then, I've still had a significant oil leak. Oh dear. Hooray! So just to make things easier for me, um, I'm gonna do the killer dowel pin kit because I've gotta do the front crank seal so bad. Uh, I hope I don't have to take this fan blade off, but I might have to. You know what, it might be easier. I might just take that fan off. Because there is so much oil. And then we're gonna pull the front crank pulley off, which is gonna be fun. I might not show you the whole thing, but I'll do my best. And then I'm gonna get interrupted because my car's at the dyno. Uh, and I'm gonna go to the dyno. And you'll see that in a different video. So this is disgusting. And so what I'm going to do is take the timing cover off. Uh, we're going to put that, that dowel pin in. I'm going to try to take the fan shroud off too. And uh, so much coolant leak. And um, make it easier to get everything, hopefully. But I don't know if I can. I'm not 100% sure. So we'll do what we can. Uh, the instruction says just to take the belt off, take this, take this off, uh, pull the crank pulley off, and then take the cover off. First, use a cleaning solution to remove all the oil and grit from the engine and compartment area. I used a one-third mix of purple power to water and spray the engine compartment. Make sure your air filter is covered before starting the next step. If you have a pressure washer, this would be ideal to help clean the engine compartment quicker. You may need to do this multiple times if your engine compartment is as nasty as mine was. Try to take this off. I've got a chain wrench on the not the belt side, so please don't get angry. Don't fall off, don't fall off. There we go. And we're just gonna take this fan off now. And then I can take the bolts off. I found it was easier to loosen the fan if you did not first take off the belt. The wrench you'll need to take this off is a 1 and 7 16 The fan is reverse thread so you'll have to go in the opposite direction to loosen. After the fan is off, I found the easiest way to remove the fan is by removing the crank pulley first. Please do not forget to remove the crank sensor before trying to remove the pulley so that it doesn't get damaged in the removal process. The socket required to remove the crank pulley or bolts is 15mm with a short extension. Once those bolts are loose, 
you can remove the belt. Then with a rubber mallet, lightly tap on the pulley to walk it off. Okay, so just in case you're wondering what a killer dowel pin looks like when you misplaced it. I am curious what this looks like. You, you see how this is separated? That's due to the killer dowel pin. So I've got a silicone right in here because that's cool. And then up top here, that little missing piece there is the killer dowel pin. Yeah, so now you know what a killer dowel pin looks like, or <laughs> what it should not look like. So we did have to drive that new dowel in. Uh, I think it still have to go in a little bit. Okay, so that is the issue we have here. So, I'll see if I can swap hands here. Close that gap up. Ooh. I can't believe how easy that is to like split. Like, that is dosh darn scary. So before I had some silicone, oops, I had silicone in here, that wasn't, that was no bueno. And half? Why are you just stinking weld that sucker? Well we're gonna go to JB Weld and then if that doesn't work, maybe I should just weld it. Weld it and silicone it. Nobody liked the coward. Crank seal in here, new gasket. We're just going to slide this in place.
did we fix the uh, oil leak? I, I don't know. This uh, killer dolphin has punked us. So we do have some oil drips. It looks like right around the valve cover. I think next thing to tackle is this valve cover. So I guess you'll see that in a future episode of Southtown Garage. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any ideas or things that you want to see, please let me know in the comments. I would like to see how these videos affect you guys. And if you're enjoying watching them, let me know. If you're not enjoying watching them, let me know. If you'd like to see something a little bit better, again, let me know. Because uh, I've got a few projects here and I'd like to see what you guys think. Uh, eventually, this is the 2001 BMW. This used to be a V8 car. So we took the V8 out of that one, put it in the other one. And if you're asking why I didn't just buy another vehicle, have you ever seen the price of vehicles right now? I, it, it's disgusting. Like I wanted to buy a Mustang and like everybody thinks these things are gold. So for me, I mean, a BMW 5 Series with a V8, you know, it's comfort and you've got power. If you guys want to see the direction of this channel, I know there's a gentleman that commented he wanted to see another Volkswagen. I have to update that. Um, I will have an update video coming soon for that. Uh, please, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know how you how we did. Give me some ideas for future videos because I want your input. So have a great day. Take care and we'll see you next time on Southdown Garage. Now on Thursday nights at 9 o'clock Pacific time.